Good morning, children. Today we are going to start with the new chapter, Unit Nineteen, Plant Physiology. So, in this chapter, we are going to see about the tropism. Animals move in search of food, shelter, and reproduction. Do plants show such movements? Can you see movements in plants? Have you ever observed Helianthus anus, which is commonly called sunflower, follows the path of the sun from dawn to dusk? These movements are triggered by an external stimuli. They are triggered by the external stimuli. Unlike animals, plants do not move. on their own from one place to another but can move their body parts for getting sunlight water and nutrients they are sensitive to external factors like light gravity temperature etc so in this lesson we will study about the various movements in plant tropism in plants tropism is a unidirectional movement of a whole or part of a plant towards the direction of stimuli towards the direction of stimuli based on the nature of stimuli tropism can be classified as follows phototropism geotropism hydrotropism thigmotropism and chemotropism there are different types of tropism so what is tropism in plants it is unidirectional movement of a whole or a part of a plant towards the direction of stimuli so as you know the tropism or the movement is triggered by external stimuli say for example the movement of a plant towards the sunlight the shoot system it grows towards the direction of sunlight so it is triggered by the sunlight as external stimuli okay now we will see what is phototropism so what do you observe in this picture the plants has show a bending movement towards the light the plants show a bending movement towards the sunlight so phototropism is the movement of plant towards the sunlight what is phototropism it is the movement of plant part towards the sunlight example the shoot of a plant here you can see the shoot it show a bending movement towards the sunlight so that is called as phototropism example the shoot of a plant next is geotropism so what is geotropism the movement of a plant in response to gravity the movement of a plant in response to gravity so what grows towards the gravity the root the root always grows towards the gravity so what is the external factor here gravity okay so which part is being attracted towards external gravity that is external stimuli roots roots show positive geotropism so they grow towards the soil geo is gravity soil gravity so geotropism is the growth of a plant part in response to the flows of gravity so what is the flows of gravity here the soil so the root grows towards the soil that is called as geotropism example the root of a plant example the root of a plant 
Next is Thigmotropism. So what is the Thigmotropism? The movement of a plant part due to touch. The movement of a plant part due to touch. Example, climbing vines. So the response of a plant when it touches an object. Like you can see the veins coiling around the pole. So when a weak stemmed plant it touches a support. It coils around the pole or a support. So that is called as thigmotropism. So what is hydrotropism? So hydrotropism is the movement of plant or a plant part towards water. So here you can see the root it moves towards the water in search of water. So that is called as hydrotropism. The movement of plant part towards the water. Hydro means water. Okay. So hydrotropism is the movement of plant part towards the water. Again the example is the root. Next is chemotropism. What is chemotropism? Chemotropism is the movement of a plant part in response to chemicals. So what is the chemical here? The growth of a pollen tube in response to sugar present on the stigma. You can see the pollen grain germinates as pollen tube and it enters into the ovule. So that is the movement of a plant part in response to chemicals. The growth of example, the growth of a pollen tube in response to the sugar which is present on the pollen grains or the stigma. Okay. So, the chemotropic movement is the growth of pollen tubes towards the ovule that is because of the chemicals. Okay. Are you clear? Chemotropism. Next we will see the shoot system, it shows two types that is we call them as the positively phototrophic and they are negatively geotrophic. What is positively? Positively phototrophic is it grows towards the sunlight. Positively phototrophic is the plant part that grows towards the sunlight. Say for example the shoot system that grows towards the direction of sunlight that is called as positively phototrophic and negatively geotropic what is geotropic geotropic movement is growing towards the soil does the shoot grows towards the soil no so we call them as negatively geotropic we can call the shoot system as positively phototrophic and negatively geotropic because because they grow away from the soil shoot system that grows upwards that is towards the sunlight so it grows away from the gravity we call them as negatively geotropic are you clear next is the root system so what is root system we call them as positively geotropic why do we call them as positively geotropic that grows towards the gravity root always grows towards the gravity so we call them as positively geotropic are you clear okay does it grows towards the sunlight no it is not growing towards the sunlight so we can call them as negatively phototrophic we can call them as negatively phototrophic so we can call root system as positively geotropic and negatively phototropic are you clear children so that's all the tropic moments in plants thank you